To fully appreciate the inevitable unfolding of events, one must begin by placing the events in time. The year is 10191, 57th year of Emperor Shaddam IV's rule. To be precise, Location. the day of We are Paris. on Arrakis, otherwise known as Dune, the planet of sand. This is the only known source in the entire universe of the essential spice. Now for the main protagonists. First, Duke Leto Atreides, planetary governor of Dune. He has just been double-crossed by the Emperor and slain by the evil Baron Harkonnen. His immediate family have either been killed, arrested, or have escaped. His wife Jessica and his young son Paul, henceforth Duke, have... At this point, it is best to call him Paul Atreides. The unknowing would say that his was a desperate plight. But the man who will become known as Muad'Dib has already begun to shape his fate. His mission is to round up the Fremen, a people tucked away in the desert who stand up to the Harkonnen. Through them, Paul will regain his kingdom and avenge his family. Mother, don't untie your distiller. It will recycle your body's own water much more effectively. It's all we have. I can see Fremen settlements. Can you smell something strange? Ah, uh, that's one of the sandworms. It's close by. If we step on the sand, it will detect us. I'm going to look for the thumper. It'll put the worm off our scent. Mother, I'm going to find the thumper. Wait here. Time is against us. We must hurry. I'll follow you. We must get to the Fremen site. Time is running out. Your steps are too even. You'll give us away. Try to avoid the areas of dark spice. They slow you down. I don't like this place. As long as we can hear the thumper. Come on, quick!
look at the pretty picture, nephew. A bull of extraordinary strength has flattened Paul's grandfather. I, the most powerful man in the Empire, have killed his father. One of Arrakis' unforgiving storms has swept the child away. An awesome combination of power has rid us of the Atreides, uncle. Raban, you must recapture Dune. Its surrender has been very costly to us. Our investment must pay dividends. May we be bathed in torrents of spice. <laughs> Don't forget to remind the locals that the Harkonnen mean business. Let them bury themselves in a stinking case while we make our fortune. The Fremen are more than just a scattered bunch of natives. Our soldiers report that they are fearsome fighters. <laughs> Do I detect fear in your eyes, Raban? The Fremen quake in their boots at the mere mention of my name. <laughs> of course. The beast, Raban. Flood the desert with their blood. The Fremen know that the most ferocious storms can be traced to the nethermost regions of the desert. Sometimes a harmless gentle breeze on the sand can turn. Paul, meanwhile, was planning retribution for his father's death and a way to reconquer Dune. Stilgar had found the Atreides in a siege bastion in the desert abyss. This is where Jessica gave birth to Aaliyah, Paul's sister, just before Duke Leto's death. Jessica had become the Reverend Mother of the Fremen. Paul was now called by his Fremen name of Paul Moadib. Inside the siege, he was adding the final touches to stage one of his plan, an all-out guerrilla attack on the Harkonnen spice harvest. We will require more than my tribe's worth of warriors to cut off the Harkonnen spice supply. Stilgar, how about summoning the other tribes? My men are ready to go to war because my word is gospel. As for the other siege dwellers, they will need assurances that a brave man is in command. What's our first planned mission? The obliteration of a cariole and a harvester, 200 kilometers in a northwesterly direction from here. I'll go it alone. That's suicidal. When I return, news of this accomplishment will spread around the sieges and the desert's nadir. Then we can count on many more recruits. I refuse to accept these terms. I shall proceed with or without your approval. I wouldn't put it past you. I need equipment. Find Baron. He's in charge of weaponry. He'll supply you with an SOS launcher, a vital object. You'll also need a Kreis. I believe the Chani is looking into that. Chani? The Atreides are brilliant strategists, but naive on other matters. Come and find me when you have everything. I shall take you to the ambush site. You must make use of your trip to the siege and talk to the Fremen. Knowing that you are near does wonders for their morale. Kalu, how was your trip to the siege? We had to time our movements to avoid Harkonnen reconnaissance patrols, but it was well worth the effort. Stilgar asked me to organize the relaying of information between our patrol teams and the siege. Is there any news on the resumption of spice harvesting? From what we are told from several sources, Raban has to respect the high quotas governing the harvesting of spice, much more so than during his first term here. He's taking risks. His harvesters are sinking their teeth deep into the desert bed. If it were up to me, I would strike now. Paul Muadib, people say that you're an Atreides Duke. You're the first nobleman I've met. Johnny, I see you've managed to make a workshop. The plants are beginning to grow. We'll soon have a true insight into Fremen Heaven. 
Lead Kynes would be proud of you. To pick up where my father left off with his plantation is one thing. What you're doing quite another. To organize and unite the Fremen is a massive challenge. Your father saved my life when the Harkonnen launched their offensive. I promise to repay him. Water will flow on Dune. Water and clear air. Trees as well. I would have loved to see your world. I can't take you there, so we'll just have to recreate a part of it here. The water reserves are increasing slowly. We shall be long gone before Dune is fertile. Look, as long as the Harkonnen don't know about your people's plan, there's every chance that it will succeed. I have something for you, Moadib. A crease. You already showed your mastery of it against Jamis. The blade is made from a sandworm's tooth. One of Shai Hulud's teeth. Yes. Only you can carry it. It is the Fremen's secret weapon. Should a stranger see the blade, it will claim his blood. If you lose it, it will automatically self-destruct. Thanks, Johnny. You've never used an SOS jammer before? No. The spear missiles that we deploy are not potent enough to destroy a Harkonnen carriole. Its engines are too big. The only way is to hijack a harvester as it collects spice, and then have it picked up by a carriole. Blocking the sand-removing nozzles turns the harvester into a self-timing bomb, with enough force to destruct the carriole. I understand the function of the jammer in disrupting the harvester's transmission mechanism and cutting off all communication links, but why the SOS signal? That's where it gets interesting. When activated, the jammer emits a false distress signal. The carrier comes to the rescue of the harvester, reasoning that it's encountered a sandworm. Clever. But that implies that the saboteurs only have a limited amount of time to block the sand-removing nozzles. Every plan has its drawbacks. Here, use it to good effect. Subach ul kahar, Hara? Well enough to know that you've come to pair at my pots, Paul Moadib. However, these sandheads have already gobbled up the first batch of kulan mishmish. I have not come for your food. You never told me to whom the Harkonnen armor in your kitchen belongs. Jemis. He brought it back as a memento of a foray near the Great Shield. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. Nobody is to blame for my husband's death. I sometimes think to myself that it was all in vain. If only I could have avoided it. I know, Paul. His passing away might well have left me at the mercy of men with completely different characters to yours. I am fortunate in this respect. Jamis was a friend. He taught me the value of life. May God bless you, Paul Moadib. I will say aloud what the others are whispering. I believe you are the Messiah. May the Corioli spare you. Have you ever seen a carriole on fire, Muadib? We 
will make tracks at nightfall. The worm will act as our transport until we get to the ambush point. Has Baron explained how the SOS jammer works? It jams the harvester's communication network and sends a false SOS to the carrier. Good. Your mission is split into three parts. First, you must climb onto the harvester and hide the jammer. You must tread carefully, as there will be almost certainly a military presence around the harvest area. Stage two. Once the SOS has been launched, you have to work your way inside the harvester and locate the sand-removing nozzles. These must all be shut down to create the state of overheating. Thirdly... Let me guess. Escape from the harvester before it is taken away by the carrier. Otherwise, I'll be stuck inside when it explodes. Your intelligence will only be of any use should you survive. Use this projectile pistol. Stilgar, don't worry about me. You're as good a judge of character as your father was.
the spice and equipment losses are high. Are you sure your units are providing proper protection? But the desert is teeming with Fremen! Appoint a new officer for the harvests, and tell him what has happened in this saga. I should have aimed for the legs. Our leadership styles are not so different. Ever since you left Staban to ex-charge, your smugglers have been under guerrilla attack from the Fremen. In contrast to my former boss, I don't envisage any obstacles to a partnership with the Harkonnen. Less of a crackdown on your smugglers by my troops. In return, your total cooperation in the battle against the Fremen. That's odd. What's up? The rate the Harkonnen harvesters are accumulating spice doesn't tally with the amount filling up their depositories. They don't put all the spice into official depots. My father mentioned secret stashes. Why conceal the spice? To pull the wool over the Emperor's eyes, thus enabling Baron Harkonnen to add to his wealth with stolen spice. If we're to beat Raban, these secret depots must be found. Where is Raban hiding them? Mwadib! I have worrying news about the arrival of a planetologist. The Imperium is sending him to take over from Liet Keens to resume research in the experimental station. I'll want Chinese right away.